Um, so I, I'm, but be, I was there, I was studying there at UNISA, at, at UNISA through them, and it didn't occur to me that I could actually say to them, I don't want to remain in this place anymore, I can do the very same thing at home. <laughs> and perhaps the fact that I was going to a place where people were learning was good because it exercised a discipline. If you're at home, you you do other things. You, or I might have decided to go to gym. So, so perhaps the mere it's fact that I was at structure. an educational institution where times were set aside for studying uh, your degree, what was beneficial. Mm. But that's as much of, of a benefit as I can think I got from that. It sort of turned you against them for the rest of your life. It turned it? me against the notion of the oral law. I was mm. never turned against scripture. Mm. I have a great admiration for scripture. There's a great deal of meaning in scripture. But the but I... I'm not impressed with the notion of of elevating interpretation to the status of axioms. Once you you treat what are interpretations as axioms, then then you have further interpretations based upon those axioms. And there's a constant procedure of regarding interpretations as axioms, and it's never-ending. So the new interpretations become axioms and bases mm. for further interpretations until eventually you have a totally unmanageable plethora of rules, prohibitions, regulations got, uh, ad- administered by people who, who can't think for themselves. Mm. And that, that unfortunately is not peculiar to the Jewish religion. Catholicism has gone through the same, same pr- procedure. There they just call it apostolic authority. In Islam they call it hadith. Mm. It's, it's, and it, it's the same phenomenon where you have a, a system that's based on idealism, an idealist, be it Muhammad, be it Jesus, be it Moses, who sets out a book or sets out in a book concepts that are quite rational even if they are harsh, but they leave room for maneuver. What what happens then is that that the disciples of of these founders establish a framework and establish what what can be called organized religion. And they start making rules about what, what is a true, what constitutes a true interpretation of the original text an elaboration upon it and what does not. Naturally, there will be differences of opinion and one school of thought will supersede the other school of thought and the, and the one that loses becomes a heretic and, and the one that, that succeeds becomes regard, is regarded as the orthodoxy. The, these are not correctly descriptive, descriptive terms because orthodoxy comes from the two words ortho meaning straight and dox meaning doctrine or word, so it should be a direct application of the original word. And the only body, Jewish body, that, that, that is orthodox in that sense of the word are the Karaites, who, who, who base their laws strictly upon scripture and, and do not permit deviations.